So, this is the first in a series of videos I'm going to be doing with Planet X. Uh, basically, kind of testing and running through their current product line. And at the moment, today, I'm taking advantage of one of the services they offer, which is actually coming to Planet X and building your own bike uh, to your own specification with help from uh, the guys at Planet X. As you can see, there's uh, all sorts of options uh, you can build up from, and there's just some of the stock that you can use. So, bike I'm building up today is the uh, On1 boot zipper. Fully steel, multi-purpose, uh, yeah, just proper utility frame. As you can see, it's got bottle bosses all over the place, uh, rack bosses, it's disc brake, uh, mudguard ready, really nice gusseted frame up front, and it comes in 650B or 29er versions, and so I'm going to be building up a 650B to a kind of eclectic spec I've uh, made up myself. And uh, Mike over there is going to be building up a 29er. And then the idea is we've been going to take them both out on... Because what I thought is it's super affordable, this steel bike, and you can stick loads of things on it. So it works as a pub bike, but also I figured it'll work as a bike for going to the pub, even when that's the other side of a dirty great hill. So that's going to be the theme of the video, but uh, first I better uh, get my boot zipper into the stand and uh, start making merry with my parts selection. And Mike's got my seat clamp, so there we go, we're off to a good start. So, gradually taking shape, I mean, uh, G Milner needn't worry about this, it's certainly not a dream builds footage. Got for lightweight fulcrum wheels on this one, uh, this is a 650B bike and uh, Victoria AKA, so they're really fast rolling cross country tread. So obviously, you know, this, I want this bike to carry some speed. Uh, and then just fitted the disc brakes down below. It's a sense lock setup. But you can see, you know, you've got multiple uh, cargo points on the fork there. Uh, nice short stem for handling. And again, just like the frame, frame detailing, just these little, uh, you know, ring reinforced top and bottom there. You've got that classic gusset on the top tube. And it's done really, you can see, they've actually left it's not welded across the back side so it's not putting any stress on there the stress is all spread along that weld like it should be and this 650b bike is as you can see it's a really matte finish uh with some you know with a clear lacquer over the top but you can still see there's like the build details on it so there's some just really nice detailing on it as well you know the little foot dropouts there with all the sort of detailing on it and if you go back here cnc machining on the back of the uh, brake mount there you know, this is a, you know, it might be a bargain. This is a proper quality bike. And then uh, we're going for a mix of uh, SRAM SX chain set and then it's going to be an Apex drive train. So uh, 1142 on the back there. And you're wondering uh, what material it's made of. It's actually uh, double butted DN6 uh, steel, chromo steel. And if you're wondering what the DN6 name comes from, it's actually way back when in On One's past when they stopped doing uh, 853 inbreds. Uh, they just got their own sort of steel blend and I can remember someone on the forum going yeah but what's it called what's it called and they just went oh it's DN6 and I'm like oh cool okay is that like relate to the alloy or anything it's like no no it's our postcode in Doncaster where we had the factory where they had the warehouse at the time uh, so yeah that's the DN6 story anyway and as you can see well, this is going to be a uh, monster cross type bike so uh, drop bar on there and it, you know, slightly flared, so you've got that bit of comfort, a bit of extra leverage for turning. And it's the uh, On One Brian bar uh, in a 460 mil width. It actually could normally comes with a 420, but I like a bit more leverage when I'm going off road, so I've gone for the 460. And you could not find a wider range of bars uh, than if you look in the On One catalog. And they're all really cheap as well. So if you do fancy uh, mucking about with your bar shape, whether that's riser, sort of Jones bar, sweat back bars. Uh, North Road bars as we used to call them where there's a big back sweep on them or you know there's loads in the On One catalogue and then there's a whole bunch more in Nitto handlebars that Planet X bring in which are all your sort of classic Japanese track and touring bars so yeah I'd say they were a bar specialist bar none so on the 650 bike I've gone for these uh, tarpaulin dry bags on the front fork because I've always wanted to try them uh, mainly because they just look like kind of dead rugged and uh, you know Make me look like Bear Grylls. No, I don't want to look like Bear Grylls. Uh, make me look like Nick Crane, because he was a proper bike adventurer back in the day. He's riding up Mongolia and Kilimanjaro and all that, uh, when it was you know, written in books. It was proper adventures. And he loves maps, and I love maps. So, yeah, 
Nick Crane, not that other bloke. And uh, you know, Planet X even do uh, a, a bunch of cookware stuff as well. So uh, there's a couple of stainless steel mugs going in there. And Smith, Mike's particularly impressed with this. As you can see, we've gone for the uh, anthracite wall on the uh, Victoria tyres, so that teams up very nicely, I think, with the grey bike. And I have to say, it's uh, in a queer eye for the uh, straight bike packer sort of way, this is coming together pretty nicely. And if you're wondering why I haven't gone for black bottle cages, that's because black bottle cages always look scruffy and tatty. And I figure on a bike like this, there's going to be bottles coming in and out all day long. So I've gone silver. Uh, well, you can, you don't have to agree with me on that, but that's what I've done. Jumped ahead slightly uh, with the second bike build. Uh, so, so what you're looking at now is a boot zipper 29. And I've spec this up pretty much stock. Uh, I'm in a few detail changes. Uh, changed the saddle. And uh, I've also put on this Jeff bar, which uh, it's an on one bar, but... As you can see, it's very, very similar to a Jeff Jones bar, although they spell Jeff slightly differently, but I think it's fairly clear where the inspiration came from from that. And the idea behind that is it gives you some nice back sweep for a light steering feel, and also it means I can get my nose bag into the bar without it affecting, you know, where I can grip. Uh, still got plenty of hand positions uh, without worrying about having my snacks under my nose. And then I'm probably going to fit a seat pack on it. So sort of more of a classic uh, bike packing setup on this bike and it's got Panarese Comet hard pack tyres I mean well, these were some of the first big volume uh, I mean 29 back then they were, I mean these are labelled up as a 29 rim but I can remember me just about squeezing some of these onto uh, my Santa Cruz Stigmata when I had one of those and they were fantastic that's what properly turned it into a hovercraft ride and I think they were a 38 back then and these are a 52 so uh, I'm hoping these are going to be a properly floaty ride. And it's built up with SRAM SX, which means I've got hydraulic brakes rather than cable brakes. And it means I've got a nice big Eagle cassette. So if I'm out for a long day and I really need a winding gear, I've got the full 1150 on there. And SX at the front as well. And again, two bottle cages. And it's, it's more or less the same frame, but as you can see under the light, I mean, obviously the joints are slightly different for 20, to taking these 29 wheels, but instead of that matte lacquer, it's got this kind of wet look lacquer, and I actually really like this. I uh, wasn't sure, I wasn't sure. I thought I'd prefer, I mean, the matte's definitely a more sort of industrial look, but yeah, I reckon this will look nice out on the trail. A bit of sun glinting off it. And I guess that's where we're going next, really, is uh, get, we've just got to finish cabling up the... Uh, monster cross bike and then it's time to actually go and do the riding segments of this video so uh, yeah i'll fetch that up as a separate edit and obviously link it off this one but you know just to reiterate you yourself can come down and build your own planet x or on one bike or holdsworth uh down here if you want and they'll actually give you a discount on that and it's just been a really nice mellow day actually uh playing decent music downstairs and uh yeah it's it's, it's nice and therapeutic to feel like i mean it's not frame building but to actually feel like you've put your your own bike together is a really therapeutic exercise. 